With the 2023-2024 playoffs just starting, I figured today we should talk hockey pops. Ooh, what's up guys, it's MD Shady, and in today's video we are going to be going through all 32 current NHL teams and basically I'll be predicting the next pop that I think is going to be in the lineup or a pop that I'd just like to see next for each and every team. So let's get right into it because with 32 teams there's going to be a lot to go through. So let's check it out. So starting off with the Anaheim Ducks, this one was kind of hard and it's surprising that there's been no Anaheim Ducks pops considering there is the whole set of the Mighty Ducks movie pops, but never actually any NHL pop. So that's pretty crazy to think. And there was two guys that I was thinking about. Of course, I could have went with some current players, but I do feel like we've been getting a lot of like the retro or the legends lineups of pops. I was thinking at originally to do Ryan Getzloff. He is a legend on the Anaheim Ducks, but ultimately I went with a guy who I'm surprised who has never had a Funko Pop in Timo Solani. I mean, what a legend, Hall of Famer. And I think he's very deserving of a Funko Pop. So he's going to be my pick for the Anaheim Ducks. Moving on to the next team in Arizona, which might not be in Arizona come next year. It seems like they're going to Salt Lake City, Utah. So we'll see about that next year. Maybe we'll redo this list with any new teams or new uh, states of teams. But I basically went down the same route that I did with the Anaheim Ducks in picking Shane Doan to be the pop for the Arizona Coyotes. I feel like he is the most notable of the Arizona Coyotes of all time. I mean, it's Shane Doan. I believe he's also a Hall of Famer. If not, will definitely be in the Hall of Fame at some point. And then the next team we have is the Boston Bruins, a team that I absolutely despise. And I was thinking about doing a legend, but then I thought about this one guy but I also thought there's someone who is the pinnacle of the Boston Bruins in being Bobby Orr. I think that this pop could be so cool. We might be able to officially finally see a new like molding for NHL pops where instead of just having the guy standing with his stick or anything, you have Bobby Orr flying through the air. I think that that would be perfect. You can have him on a base basically coming out of his like abdominal area. So he looks like he's flying. It would probably be a sideways box, unfortunately, but I think that this would be huge for any real collector of any hockey memorabilia. Then the next team that we have is the Buffalo Sabres, a team that I've seen play twice live. Of course, there's a lot of different Sabres, but there's one guy that I think has been doing very, very well over the last couple of years, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him being the next Buffalo Sabres Funko Pop in Paige Thompson. What a stud this guy is. He's been putting up a ton of points. He's pretty dang huge. I sat basically exactly next to him. Maybe DK will throw up a photo of me, basically in between the benches at the Toronto Maple Maple Leafs and Buffalo Sabres game and he sat right next to me and I was like wow this guy's pretty dang big not surprising how uh, much of a force he is in the NHL and able to score all these goals and then next we have the Calgary Flames of course they're not my favorite team but I do love this jersey and of course Calgary has had some very notable names on the team like Jerome McGinley but he's already got a pop I also thought about going down the road of having a goalie in Mika Kippersoff I think that'd be really cool for like a legends or alumni set but I went with a current superstar for this one. Someone who I was very surprised does not have a Funko Pop in Nazem Kadri, Nifty Mittens. He's played for a few teams at this point and I'm surprised that he hasn't got a Funko Pop. So I think he'd be the perfect pick for the next Calgary Flames Funko Pop. And then the next team is the Carolina Hurricanes. This one was kind of difficult. I really wanted to go down the route of having more legends or alumni with Eric Stahl, but I feel like I shouldn't have picked too many alumni to be put on this list. Gotta go with the current guy. And I think that the perfect pick for that is Misha Sveshnikov. Andre Svechnikov would be a great Funko Pop for the Carolina Hurricanes. Then moving on to the Chicago Blackhawks, a team that has a few different Funko Pops. Of course, you have their mascot, you have Patrick Kane, as well as Jonathan Taze, but I think that there's only one guy, and I truly believe that this will be the next Funko Pop for the Chicago Blackhawks in Connor Bedard. The first overall pick, Connor Bedard. Some controversy going on with him and said teammates, but Connor Bedard is is going to be an amazing hockey player. He's kind of proved that this year. And in the next few years, you're going to see his stats just go through the roof, I think. I don't think he's going to struggle to do very, very well in the NHL. It's a no-brainer. Connor Brown has to be the pick for the Chicago Blackhawks. Then moving on to the Colorado. 
Colorado Avalanche. They got a few pops as well, and I think that they kind of summed up the team that they have right now in Funko Pop, so I had to go in the Legends route, and there's only one guy that you can pick in Joe Sackick, one of the greatest Colorado Avalanche players to ever play, one of the greatest hockey players of all time, Joe Sackick. What a legend. I think this makes a lot of sense. And then moving on to one of the most forgettable teams of all time in the Columbus Blue Jackets. I went with the first goalie on this list being Elvis Merz Lickens, I believe is the way his name is pronounced. I have heard so many people pronounce it different ways, but Merz Lickens, great goalie, but on a team that I, I just, I personally don't care for, but the first goalie on this list. Moving on to the Dallas Stars. I was very surprised to see that this player does not have a Funko Pop, considering Jamie Benn has two Funko Pops, the first ever Funko Pop in the NHL lineup, as well as his newer one with kind of that more full beard. But where's his partner? Where is his right-hand man in Tyler Sagan? This just makes a lot of sense. I can't believe there hasn't been a Tyler Sagan Pop already. Now we're moving on to the Detroit Red Wings, and this one was really tough because there's so many great Detroit Red Wings. There's so many Hall of Famers. When I thought about it, I couldn't believe that this guy did not have a Funko Pop either in Stevie Y. Steve Iserman. How he doesn't have a Funko Pop is crazy because we've seen a lot of different legend sets. How can you forget Stevie Y in those sets? So definitely for the Detroit Red Wings, that will be the next pop. Then moving on to the Edmonton Oilers. This is a team again where it's kind of hard because it's a team that Wayne Gretzky played on. So you could pick literally any of Wayne Gretzky's line mates, I think would be a good pick. But I ended up going with a guy who has put up huge numbers for the Edmonton Oilers this season in Zach Hyman. He has proved to be very good on the team, of course, playing alongside with Connor McDavid as well as Leon Dreisaitl. You're going to have to be pretty good, at least. They're going to saucy that puck, and you're going to be able to pass them the puck very well as well and get those goals and assists, and he's really proved that, so I could easily see Zach Hyman being the next Edmonton Oilers pop. Then moving on to the Florida Panthers. I think this one was very easy. It's a goalie who doesn't have a Funko Pop yet and is very deserving in one. He is a fan favorite for many, many people and that is Roberto Luongo. Of course, going from the Florida Panthers in the beginning of his career over to play an awesome career in Vancouver and then end his career with Florida. I think that this just makes so much sense. And then moving on to the LA Kings. This was a surprise to me as well. I thought there was a pop for this guy, but there wasn't. And that's Anche Kopitar. I think that this makes so much sense. He's played on the team for what seems like forever now. So that one's a no brainer. The next team we have is the Minnesota Wild. I kind of wanted to go with a few guys here. I was thinking maybe Matt Zuccarello, but he already has a Funko Pop on the New York Rangers, I believe. And then there were some other guys that I thought maybe like Zach Prize and other guys like that, but I inevitably went with one of the younger stars on the team in Kirill Kaprizov. He is pretty good at hockey, so I think he's a name that everyone kind of knows right now over the last few years, so easily a good pick for Minnesota. Then moving on to the Montreal Canadiens, one of the original six teams who have had so many Hall of Famers on their team, but they've also had quite a few Funko Pops uh, and we've seen some of the Hall of Famers. So I went with a guy who has really been making some moves on the Canadians in Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield, whatever you want to call him. He's a stud. I was thinking about doing the captain of the team, Nick Suzuki, but I feel like a cooler pop and one that just works a lot better would be in Cole Caulfield. Then moving on to the Nashville Predators. I really wanted to make this the first pop on this list that is actually a mascot because I feel like we do need to see a new wave of mascot pops but then I thought about this one guy and I think that this pop would look really really cool and he's very deserving of a pop as well and that's Philip Forsberg he has been doing so good over the past couple years that it makes a lot of sense he's one of those top like 20 players in the league I believe so it makes sense that he has a Funko Pop and that mustache that he's got would look so cool in Funko Pop form that I think it's undeniable that that would be a great pick for the National Predators. And then moving on to the New Jersey Devils. This one was easy as well. I'm going with a Hall of Famer, a legend in Martin Brodeur. This makes so much sense. He is one of the greatest goalies of all time, and I can't believe there hasn't been a pop of him already. Then moving on to the New York Islanders. This one was kind of tough. I don't really know a lot about the guys that have been on the team in like previous years. Of course, they've been a team for a while now, but I went with one guy who's been on the team for quite a bit now, and he's a pretty dang good hockey player, and that's Matt Barzell. I mean, he might not be the greatest in like, let's say a fantasy league, but he's definitely one of 
the top players on the Islanders, so I think he's a pretty good pick. Moving on to the New York Rangers, again, a team that Wayne Gretzky played for, so you can kind of do some guys there, but we've already seen Wayne Gretzky, we've seen Marc Messier, we've seen Artemi Panarin, we've seen a lot of different Rangers pops, so I went with my personal favorite New York Rangers player of all time, one of my favorite players right now, I'd say he's in like my top, maybe even 10 favorite players in the NHL right now, and that's Mika Zibanejad, he is unreal. What a good hockey player, he's so great. I'll never forget when he scored five goals in one game on the Washington Capitals. Uh, that that kind of hurt, but he's also an awesome player, so it was really cool to see. Moving on to the Ottawa Senators, this one was a very easy pick. Brady Kachuk, I mean, come on, there's already a Matthew Kachuk pop for the Calgary Flames. I think that his little bro needs a pop as well with Brady Kachuk. Then moving on to the Philadelphia Flyers, and there's so many that I would like to see, like Scotty Hartnell, guys like that, but I went with a guy that just makes sense to have a Funko Pop in the Legends lineup in Eric Lindros, one of the careers that got kind of cut short but he was such a menacing player who was so good at hockey but was also very good at body checking a Philadelphia legend Eric Lindros just makes sense then moving on to the Pittsburgh Penguins the Pittsburgh Penguins set of pops has quite a few pops on it right now you got a few different Sidney Crosby's of course you got Chris Letang of Guinea Malkin Marlo Mew I was really debating on putting Yamir Yager on this list but I think if there was a Yager pop I would like to see like a I think like 13 pack of every team that Yager's played on. I think that that would be so insane. So I didn't just specifically say him for Pittsburgh and I inevitably went with the first mascot on this list in Iceberg. I think that makes a lot of sense. My co-host DK would love to get that pop as well and I'd probably even buy it because I do have a few of the NHL mascot pops. I think that this one just makes sense. There's not a lot of huge other notable names on the team that really need to have a Funko Pop. Moving on to the San Jose Sharks. This one was fairly easy. I for a sliver, I kind of thought about Tomas Hurdle. I think that that would be a cool pop, but you gotta go with Jumbo Joe. I mean, he is the face of the San Jose Sharks. This just makes so much sense. I would love to see this pop be pretty tall in stature too. I think that that'd be pretty cool and probably do like the huge gray beard towards the end of his career. I think that that makes a lot of sense. This would be such a great pop. Hopefully we do see it one day. Moving on to the newest team in the NHL being the Seattle Kraken. This one was kind of tough because they got like not a lot of like crazy like all-star power on their team. I was thinking about Brandon Tanev, but inevitably I went with one of the shittiest mascots in the NHL in Bowie. This is insane. When this mascot got announced, people were so pissed because they're the Seattle crack and they should have a badass, awesome mascot, but instead they went with this troll doll right here, if you can see it right there, just kind of ridiculous. But I do think that this would translate very, very well into Funko Pop form. And like I said, I would really like to see a new mascot set. And I think that Bowie should be part of that. Then we're moving on to the 2019 Stanley Cup champions in the St. Louis Blues. And this one was tough too. Of course, they've had a lot of notable players on their team throughout the years, but I ended up going with their goalie who led them to that Stanley Cup in Jordan Bennington. I knew I wanted to add a few goalies on this list, and he is one of the best goalies in the NHL right now, though his play has kind of fallen off in the last couple of years. Then moving on to the Tampa Bay Lightning. What a team they have right now, and of course we have seen pops of Steven Stamkos, Nikita Kucherov, as well as Andre Vasilevsky, and there's one key component to that team that I think that they've left out of course, I could have went with Victor Hedman, but inevitably I went with Braden Point. He has been really good on the team and he's really been helping out to basically get them those two cups that they got and keep them pushing in the playoffs over the past few years. Now moving on to one of my favorite hockey teams in the Toronto Maple Leafs. This one was a no-brainer for me. I'm going with my basically childhood hero here with Matt Sundin. This just makes a lot of sense. I would like to see Matt Sundin in a couple different jerseys, but I think it makes sense to put him in the Toronto jersey first. Now we're moving on to the Vancouver Canucks, and I kind of cheated here, but at the same time, this is technically one singular pop, and it would be a two-pack. Can you guys guess where I'm going with this? Of course, it's Hendrick and Daniel Sedin in a two-pack. This just makes so much sense. They got drafted to the team together as twin brothers, and they dominated on Vancouver. This is the only real pick that needs to happen. Then moving on to one of the also newer teams, our current Stanley Cup champions, the Las Vegas Knights. And there's been a few Las Vegas Knights pops. Of course, you got the Stanley Cup champion one with Jack Eichel. We've seen William Carlson, but I think it would make a lot of sense if you went with a guy who's been on the team since the beginning in John 
Jonathan Marshall. As I was editing that, I'm not sure why MD Shady said Las Vegas Knights instead of Vegas Golden Knights, but this is a perfect opportunity to mention, if I haven't already, that we now have channel memberships here on our YouTube channel. When you go to our main page, there will be the join button. And when you press that button, it will show you exactly the one tier that we currently have, which is at $4.99 Canadian at the moment. You will have a loyalty badge next to your name with the logo, and it will change over time the longer that you are a member of the channel. You get to use custom emojis that will be added over time. I think at the moment we do have the MDK Collects logo. But then most importantly, we do have the member shout out. So if you join, you will get a shout out on every single video and podcast going forward. And with enough interest, we will be adding more tiers over time. That probably will include stuff like bonus videos and bonus podcasts. So definitely consider signing up now. It will help us out tremendously going forward with the channel with the different videos that we do here. But without further ado, let's continue this video, which I believe up next is MD Shady's favorite team, the Washington Capitals. Then we have my favorite hockey team in the Washington Capitals, and I didn't go with a player, though I would love to see a Nicholas Backstrom pop. I think that makes a whole lot of sense. I think realistically, the next pop that we should get for Washington Capitals is Slapshot the Eagle, their mascot. He is one of the greatest mascots in the NHL, in my biased opinion, but I think that this pop would look great, and maybe we can get an exclusive that's flocked. And then moving on to the final team in the Winnipeg Jets, and there was really only one guy that I could pick here that made a lot of sense and it's kind of surprising that he doesn't have a Funko Pop as well and that is Mark Shifley. This is just an easy one. I don't really care for the Winnipeg Jets, but when I think about Winnipeg, what's the first name that comes to mind? It's either Patrick Laine or it is of course, Mark Shifley. So I went with Mark Shifley. So there you guys have it, all 32 teams. And I hope you guys agree. And if you did agree, don't forget to smash the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know if there's any pops that I might have left out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Keep watching hockey and peace in, peace out.